Hi, guys. <clears throat> Hi. It's Kelly. Say I finished this last night and I was so tired. I didn't feel like, here, let me turn the light on. Is it better if the light's on? The other light? <laughs> I just was so tired I couldn't um, get the flip through done. So anyway, I don't know. Is that light better? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, um, let's see. Let me get my ruler. It's just regular size, you know, whatever that is. I forget. I always say that. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> Nine by six or something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it's a little bit bigger, but... Okay, so um, so I got this great green applique lace from one of the girls in group and um, also this vintage bracelet, which I love. Oh, I say it every time. I have a hard time getting rid of stuff sometimes, you know, but it's so pretty. And the filigree work and, and the pearls, it's just gorgeous. I just love it. So anyway, so it, that's on there. And um, then I have these really cool corners. I never got to use these yet. And I got a um, Tim Holtz hitch post, which I've never done that before. So I think that's really fun. <laughs> and then, um, and then this is like a little fancy little hat box, and it's got some jewelry hanging out and some ribbons and stuff. And then there's just a bunch of layering and. Um, have these rosettes in my shop and a lot of this stuff i'll point it out as we go along here but but anyways and um uh this fabric is it's a vintage um it's like a satin that's so pretty i know it's weird i'm trying to do it so you can see the and i just quite like the fabric just the way it is so i didn't really like to mess with it too much really so anyway um so you just push down and and I did do a different couple different loops on here just in case you want to either take some stuff out or if you wanted to add to. So there's a couple different loops you can do like that. And um, so, <laughs> so we started, you know, I have this group and um, we started, we we're going to do um, wallpaper, but I don't know what happened anyway. So this is kind of wallpapery, but it's not really but anyway the next one's wallpaper but anyway <laughs> anyway so i picked this paper just from some stash i had you know i can't remember what it's called i think pretty princess stack or something like that and then i mixed it with um life of bloom tsunami rose some of the ephemera well most of the ephemera in here and eggs it says um tsunami rose so anyways i used a bunch of different kinds of paper and um, these are all the snippets off, so that kind of gives you a preview of what it's kind of going to look like. And then here's a um, transit record, you know, it's Tsunami Rose. It's a really cute little journaling card. And I put in um, a bunch of the postcards now. These are Life of Bloom. And I love these now because you know what I got? Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> it's so dumb. But I got one of these Tim Holtz, you know paper distressers with the razor blade so you <laughs> over the top of you know the edges of all your ephemera now that you print out <gasps> oh i love it it's like all rough and stuff it just gives it this cool feel and then anyway then when you put ink on it, it i don't know it's just different so it's all roughed up which i really like that because when we're using cardstock you know, and we print this stuff out, I mean, then it's just this clean edge, and I don't know, this just makes it look better, and it's, I don't know, it feels better. And then I sewed around some of what's pink thread. This has all got pink thread, and um, sewed around some of Daisy's tags that are in her shop there. They're just cute. And then I have these um, little two-by-two two glassine little sacks. And also these manila tags in the, my shop. And um, the link is there. And then these little snippets are just their inked up little snippets left from the paper here. And they're just cute. They're just cute little reminder spots. I don't know why I'm having trouble there. There we go. <laughs> and then, um, <clears throat> you know, we have a lot of these note cards around or index cards. So I've been trying to use these up. And so I 
just inked up some and stamped on it and punched it and put some lace there and we're using it for a tuck spot and um this is tsunami rose of course life of bloom paper and i inked it up and ripped it up you know how we like to do <laughs> and so it's a cute journaling spot because i love this paper see it kind of looks like bedroom see that's why i named it like i did and again this postcard's all roughed up on the edges it's so good i love it <laughs> and it all has the pink thread and the pages are thick because it's it's a um design paper and then it's coffee stain on that side so i glued them together and then sewed with the pink thread and then um so this just flips over the you know flips over the top and made another Made another journaling spot out of her. Oh, I love that life of bone paper. And so what I did was, is I had this fabric, right? And I had made these tags. I love these tags. I it's this fabric that I like. I know this lighting stinks. So you can't really see it that good, but it's so pretty. And these are um chipboard tags. They're huge, really thick, really like you know, you could use it for a special, but, <laughs> but I love them. And, um, anyways, that's what they're made out of chipboard and they're just really thick. And I just like the fabric. And so I left them just pretty. And that's a sticky, I didn't put anything over that and, um, they're quite thick. And so anyway, here's another life of bloom postcard and it's just kind of like a romantic little, and then here's a little flip. Um, a little flip up and then I like these glassine bags and this layering now is really fun and I'll undo it now <laughs> and um, so here's some more of the and there's coffee on the back and then this is that Jenna ribbon that's in my shop I love it it's that green with the polka dots and then floral Ooh, it's pretty I love it so I just layered up one of the glassine bags and used some Tsunami rose little tickets and some paper flowers and some eyelash trim and cheesecloth and ribbon and appliques and there's lace and just all kinds of stuff. And um, so I coffee stained paper and then I always put in some glitter in there so it is kind of glittery. And then these are vintage envelopes and stamps and then I did some stamping but I left this, you know, so you can write on here if you want to. And then I always put in... Uh, um, piece of something and these are life of bloom tsunami rose pieces of paper in there for your journaling spots and then this is um well you know what it looks like life of bloom but i'm not quite sure <laughs> these were sent to me from you know how people send you little racks and stuff but gosh it sure looks like life of bloom i really don't know but i think it is and this was actually made and sent to with it with this and another cute little card but anyway it's really cute so i put some pink eyelash trim behind there and there's a couple little tuck spots and journaling card there and um you know i always do heavy coffee i don't know that's just how i do it and then i've layered up some prima flowers i'm really enjoying having the primas they're really fun and some eyelash trim and um this is the coordinating paper from the front pockets and the back pocket has the same and the center signature is this. I like this pattern right here. And then this is green velvet. I don't have this color right now in the shop, but, but I have lots of velvets. And then another coin envelope, which I, I like these with the, isn't that pretty? I love the roses. So this is all kind of, it's all kind of roses and then this is actually an envelope and um there's some sheet music there so there's some stuff in here that's kind of fun more um index cards because i have so many you know and so i coffee stained them up sewed around with the pink thread and i always do heavy coffee like i say and then i glued down this big ticket and inked it up and then i made some little pockets where we put another little ticket and then a little pocket right there has a little heart in it and it's pink thread i don't know it's kind of cute and then uh well i thought there was something else in there but i guess i don't see anything
<laughs> uh, maybe not. Okay, I guess not. But still, that's cute. <laughs> and then this whole book actually was all about the tags. It's just all about the tags. Um, and so what happened is those tags I made, you know, those really thick ones that I was showing you in the beginning, these, they're so thick and heavy that um, these tuck spots I was making, I was afraid they weren't going to hold right. So I ended up making some coordinating ones from the paper that I used. And um, so this is some vintage lace from the 40s. I love it. I go to this place. Oh, my God. Anyway, here in Seattle. And um, I just love it. And I'm keeping this fairly simple because I like the way the green, you know, the stripe looks with the flowers and the lace. I don't know. I just like the way it looks. And then there's a little um, pocket on the back. And I punched. And there's some little snippets left over. And then here, this is pretty life of bloom little tag too back here with a little pocket and you can see the the pink thread it's cute i just like it i just like pink and green together the pale green and this has some green in there you know and this pink thread shows up good on this on this side some of my inked up and some of my didn't because if you go over the you know with ink on the pink thread then you don't get to see the pink thread see like right here so some of it I did and some of it I didn't, just so we could keep some of the, try to keep some of the sweetness, you know. <laughs> and um, so anyway, this is heavy copy again, and there's glitter, and then I punched, it's a Martha Stewart <clears throat> eyelet lace punch. And then I've made these kind of like matchy-matchy kind of <clears throat> the tags a little bit, and they both have pockets in the back. Um, and then this one has a little mini bingo card. It's Life of Bloom and then a postcard that's Life of Bloom. So it fits in a little pocket there. And, and then this is special to me. There's a couple of things in here. These are from Sweden, from our friend Emily in the group. She just sent them to me and they're so pretty. I had to put them on there. <laughs> it just fits. And then this I love. I love this coffee. But anyways, I was just using the snippets off the ends of all the paper, you know, to make these spots is what I was doing here. Um, all our leftovers, you know. And um, here's some more of the trim from the spine. I wanted to carry that kind of through the whole book as well as this lace. Now, this is just a thin little tuck spot, so I was leaving these thin so that, you know, the weight, you know what I mean? And then you can write on here too. And the back has some, this has um, coffee and pink, well, you can't see with the camera, but it's pink um, metallic paint in there. So there's a little bit of, a little bit of pink shimmer. And I put some blings in there, which I like that. And I just like the way the floral looks with the stripe. And I don't know, I just like the way the whole, I just like the way it looks like that. See, it kind of looks like a bedroom wallpaper, doesn't it? I don't know. So all these ribbons are in my shop. This is Lunza and there's Jenna and there's, I don't know, a couple other ones. They're real pretty. I think this one right now I'm sold out of Lunza, but I know I have Jenna and, um, and there's another one too. I can't remember the name right now, but, but anyways, I love this thick, chunky. I always like the thick and chunky crocheted um, lace. And so, and I love those crystals in there because they're Aurora Borealis kind. You know, they pick up all the colors. And so it picks up the green, which which I like. And so this is just punch, you know. And then here's some lace going, turning, you know, it's a whole piece there. And um, I love this paper. So it's punched a little bit. Here's another one of my little... It's got the pink eyelash trim, and there's a little, and it's pink and white little cord here with a little mini tag, and it's got a little rose stamped on it, and that's some sheet music, and I don't know, it's just cute. <laughs> I don't know, it's just cute. And then, like, ephemera, this is from the drugstore, and, you know, I don't know what this is. Well, it's Tsunami Rose, you know, her friend, and Cox are so cool. So there's fun stuff from Daisy in there. And then here's another one of the tags. I love this one. 
It's my favorite one. I have the pink velvet in my shop, and this is vintage lace. I'm using the same lace through the whole thing, and then I just love that. It does look like wallpaper, though, doesn't it? Or something. I just love it. And then this was a piece of, I don't know, some kind of trim. Anyway, and that's from my shop. And I just clipped it on here because it's so thick and heavy. It needs a big clip. <laughs> it needs a big clip. This is like no joke. You could probably use it for an ice scraper. <laughs> and then in the middle, I, I just, well, I call it stack of sacks. <laughs> stack of sacks. I got every kind. And oh my God, there's just too many even on here to even count. So they're all filled up, you know, with all kinds of stuff. And then there's little envelopes down here. And these have these all in my shop. These are minis. And then I have this size and I have this size and this size and the two by twos. But I do not have these big tall ones back here. And they all have, you know, the the big tags in there and and the postcards and ephemera from, I love this one from Tsunami Rose. It's so pretty. I can't stand it. I want to use it for a cover one time, but I still haven't done it yet. But I keep wanting to. And like I say, they're all roughed up edges because of the Tim Holtz thing I got. And then I made two little matching little, little tags. And then this is a little glossy envelope with some little paper in it and... This is a ticket from Life of Bloom. And then the two come out this way like this. And then there's a tuck spot behind here. And here's a little snippet of this in there. See, there's just all kinds of stuff in there everywhere. And then there's two big, I better show you this one too. There's one on each side. They're both different, but they're Tsunami Rose big journaling cards with roses. And they're all roughed up on the edge, which I love and inked up. So... I mean, it's another step in the process, but I don't know. I just like the way it is. I just look like it. And then here's the other big one. I did two of these big ones. Well, I intended them to go in these big sacks back here, but they got so big and wide with the embellishing that they didn't fit anymore. <laughs> so I had to get these honking clips, but they're pretty. And it's just really delicate and pretty. And the pearls and the lace and stuff, I just love it. And then these are weird. I don't know where I found this stuff at. But, you know, it's one of those vintage things you find, and I just cut it up. I don't know. <laughs> and I made these tags out of it, and it already had a pocket in it. It was that, It was a big pink heart, you know, with this lace around it with this pocket in it. I don't even know what it was, but I'm like, I'm just cutting it up. You recognize it? It's like pink vinyl or something. I don't know. And it has this old lace on the bottom. I don't know. I didn't put that there. It was already there. So anyways, there's a pocket in there. So I was like, cool, I'll just cut it up and just the pockets will fall where they may. So I have a bunch of these weird tags. I don't know. And then I put some trim on the top and an altered playing card and another tag from, I don't know, that was just been in my stash from I don't know where. But, and there's coffee paper. It's kind of glittery on the back. So anyway, that's a neat one. And then another one of my little tag on a tag on a tag. <laughs> triple tag. Triple team in you. I don't know. I like these ones. I don't know why. I just think they're fun with the tag and a tag. I don't know. It's just cute. So that's that. And then, oh, so you can see how I'm doing it now. The center is the... The stack of sacks and then you see you got the two the two pockets with the same you know and they're with the ephemera and stuff I just and then and then so if you keep doing that see they're both gonna have so now they both have the same see with the same tags you see how I'm doing it this one's punched I'll show you in a minute but they all you know so it kind of it's kind of mimicking you know mimicking each other so anyway <clears throat> so these ones um are kind of the same as you know the front ones with the applique and the blings and stuff in there and i punched this one out with martha stewart it's really pretty i like it and put a doily on there and stuff and then this one oh, wait a minute what is this one no nope. some of these i did funky stuff too like this one and i have these in my shop too um two different kinds i love these big the big kinds because you know we're used to these ones this is what you normally get, right? These little tiny ones, right? 
So when I seen these, I was like, oh my God, I have to have them because look how big they're. So I have this and the bouquet kind in my shop, which I love them. So anyways, um, this is just square and it's got the pink and it. it's a flip out and it's got pink thread and, and stuff and stuff and stuff. Martha Stewart punch and, and so then here's the same kind as in the front with the lace and the pockets, the bingo and the, and the postcards. I like those. And then the same little medallion. And then I love that. Um, I think this one's Jenna. I can't remember now, but I love this lace too. And then this one folds out too, this way, like that, for fun. Just for fun. And it's got the pink thread around. And I love the roses. And then this is also from Sweden. She just sent it to me, but it's the perfect color. It's all jeweled. It's all jewels, actually. And silver. And it's the perfect pale green that goes with this just perfectly. I love it so much. And then here's some tags I sewed around from uh, Tsunami Rose. And then, oh, this is pretty. <laughs> well, this is pretty. Well, I just like this pink eyelash trim and the music. And I don't know. It's just cute. And there's a little tag in there. of The same little coordinating paper. And it's all like glittery and like, I don't know, that jelly kind of stuff they put on there. And it's got pink thread all the way around and a matching like little postcard with my roughed up edges that I love now. <laughs> and then the pink envelope, just like the other side with the vintage stamp and the, and the, um, oh, and there's my K, you know, I put the K in my books, if I remember. And here's the paper that goes inside, Tsunami Rose, Life of Bloom. I think I do have one Rose Azure postcard in here, but I don't know where it is now. I'll look and see. Oh, here it is. This one's Rose Azure. Tsunami Rose, but it's pink thread sewed around. And then it's a flip up with that uh, different vintage lace here. And then here's one of her big, and I just like it against the stripe. It's a green stripe. I don't know. The floral and stripe always looks good. And then the um, postcard again with the vintage ladies on there. I've been using that same throughout the whole thing. And then the um, same little as in the front, you know, the little tuck spot here with the stamping on there. And I use some thick, chunky laces like I like on there. <laughs> you can see it good in the lighting. I know it's kind of weird, but. And then the back is the same little, you know, because it flips over. And the stamping end. I like this because she's got the green hat on. And, and then here's the other Life of Bloom paper. I love that paper too. It's just pretty. It's just pretty pink and green, you know, and I haven't done one like this. I haven't done a really like pretty girly book before. So, and then here's a, another tag and then the other coordinating one. And then there's a big little applique right here. Then the back is just plain because I love the fabric. And so anyway, there she is. So next, um, I love it. So next is, um, I'll show you my cover. We're doing vintage wallpaper. I keep saying that we're doing it, but I got sidetracked with this one because of the fabric. Cause I was doing this. So here's the cover. Well, the base of the cover anyway. And, um, I love this, right? Isn't it just a die? Oh my God. I'm so excited. And so I was using this fabric for the center see, And then I thought, oh my God, I love this fabric. And I had those tags already made. And so then I just, so anyway, so now, um, see hungry man, <laughs> it's what's for dinner, right? <laughs> so anyway, so that's going to be the inside of this one. So now I only have like this piece left that's it oh but anyway it's not gonna be fun I'm so excited so this will this will be next okay I'll see y'all later